Hello and welcome back to Penweskin Farm on Bessie Beneath. Right, so the fields with the grass that have been planted are all good. They're growing quite well, uh, obviously really early on, but they have at least taken, um, so we just need to leave them now and obviously spread some kind of uh, fertiliser on it. So maybe slurry and manure on the grass fields I think would be a good option, uh, but we do need to let that kind of build up. I think we haven't got that much currently uh, we've got 6400 litres of manure and then only a small amount of slurry so we definitely need to just let it keep ticking over and then if we do need to put some solid fertilizer down or any liquid fertilizer uh, we can do that um, a bit of an update as well regarding the actual map so in between episodes i did all the scanning all the fields have been scanned uh, the only thing left to do now is spread some lime so that's going to be happening in this episode we're going to get the lime spread probably in field 6 and 25 um, i did get a comment in the first video mentioning the fact that that lime basically determines from the soil type not the crop type and then obviously fertilizer is actually determined from also the soil type but also the crop type when it comes to fertilizer in precision farming so we can go ahead pretty much and spread lime and especially the two grass fields at least um, and then at least that's done um, and then like i said just fertilizing uh, but we do need to decide what to grow in field four and field nine so what i've been doing is looking at the actual crop types thinking about what we can do we can't obviously do anything that's going to require a different header than what we've got so we can't be doing corn uh, sunflowers anything like that and i've also been looking at what's currently in the silo so i've actually got quite a lot of grain that you start off with and I'm thinking I might just sell some of it now um, especially like soybeans and corn I think right now the actual time to sell would be well corn's not too bad it can peak a little bit higher but it's not too bad uh, but soybeans sorry for some flowers is what I was looking at that's an actual good time so we could go ahead and sell some of the corn and maybe some of the soy sunflowers and then yeah move on to doing some lime spread and I think that might be good for this episode um, I do like these signs as well they do make a difference it's good to see just easily what you've got in storage but I'd rather sell all this at the right time and then obviously when we come to do the actual crop that we're doing when we harvest that we'll sell that again at the right time now what I've been doing is looking at like crop rotation looking at like field 9 and field 4 um, thinking to start off with barley and then maybe move over to canola and instead of doing a different type of grain in each field I might just do the same in each field each harvest so I think we'll do barley and then next year we'll do canola and then we'll have a look after that to see see what's probably a good idea but I think yeah we should probably get some barley seeds at some point and we can do some of that and it gives us some straw as well which is always a bonus so I think the first thing we need to do is obviously go and sell some of this grain. Now I'm going to try out the Bailey trailer and I'm going to obviously try it out with the 5713. I'm hoping that it'll pick up some of the sunflowers and obviously the corn. So let's get hooked up and try it out at least. Um, and then we'll have a look at what sell point to go to. Now I am hoping that this can have a full capacity and I can yeah, have no issues, that would be perfect, but I'm not entirely sure on that, it really does depend because it's 130 brake horsepower, still quite a lot, but not much when in comparison to obviously a lot of other tractors you can get, so we'll see what we can do first and then we'll go from there. Uh, so far so good anyway an empty trailer it doesn't struggle with which is a good sign but let's get out the 13,876 litres it's saying there of sunflower even though we're working in metric tons uh, but we'll know as soon as it drops into the trailer how many metric tons that is so let's just obviously take off the cover there we go we'll probably get the third person for this and let's have a look at what we've got so we want sunflowers we've got 2.4 tons of sunflowers i'm hoping this trailer holds that 
should do. So 63%. So I, I doubt... Wrong button. I doubt that this is going to struggle, to be honest. Uh, but you never know. But before we go, let's have a look at the map and find out where the best place to take sunflowers is right now. So obviously... So the best place is this Calendra Grains. Calendra, I think that's how you pronounce that. Calendra Grains, £8,425 per metric tonne. And we've got 2.4, so it's good money. It really is good money. So let's have a quick look on the map where this is. Just down there, so a bit of a drive. I imagine to get there, we're probably going to have to maybe make a turn in here or maybe across there. But I won't know until I find out. So let's head out, follow the road down, and we'll make our way. Um, and it obviously gives me a bit of practice with the steering wheel as well. So you can definitely tell that I've got 2.4 tons behind this. But you shouldn't have an issue. I did go to the shop and buy some Ad Blue. So as you can tell, I've got two 50 litre canisters there of Ad Blue for the tractor. Because this is currently at 62%, so it's going to need some soon. We've still got some room, obviously, but we are going to need some. So it's pretty much a straight road. Uh, stay on this road all the way down, and then I'll have to try and find uh, the correct entrance, getting into that cell point. Right, so as you can see by the sign, I did have to go down to the bottom and realise that it's the edge of the map. Uh, but the sign here says the grain and dairy and the biogas as well is all in one place. So this must be the entrance, which is what I originally thought when I saw the dirt track. Definitely a bit bumpy down here. So we'll take a time. And then I don't know where we're going to go and sell the corn after, but I'll definitely do two trips because it is going to give me quite a bit of money. It is going to help out. But well, the one thing I will say is it's a very bumpy track. I think it's levelled out a little bit here, so this helps. I do like, though, the look of it. It's like it's on a farm. Right, so we just made 20,000. So I'm only on normal difficulty as well, which is great news. So that was definitely the right time to sell sunflowers. So what I'll do is I'll get back, I'll uh, fill up with the corn, and then we'll get this sold. Right, so I've just noticed that all the traffic's gone a little bit funny. For some reason, it's stopping. I haven't got a clue why. So, I'll be honest, at the moment, I am just going round. It's like they've all... It's just... I don't know. I have never seen anything like it before in my, in my life on this game. So, it is quite interesting. I hope I haven't gone past the turning. This guy's obviously... Causing me issues. Beep him just so he knows he's an idiot. 
There we go. We've gone round him anyway. So I think the turn is just on the left, just after that kind of farm. And I think that is the actual other cow shed. Or the other cow barn, sorry. A little bit smaller than what we've got, but still a good size. Definitely not a bad size anyway. Nice little area to be honest. Right, so where's the turning? I think it's just there. Right, so let's practice again reversing and hopefully this time I get it spot on. Because it is it is quite difficult when you're so used to doing it one way for such a long period of time um, and then you keep driving a little bit different but if we just take it slow like now I am taking it slow I think Discord's probably pinging me right now so that's uh, never good because that's distracted me there we go that's that's better more in line now there we go that's uh, a lot easier there we go right so let's see how much money we get for this hopefully it's a, a good amount the money's flying up I can't believe we're already at less just made another 10,000 really really good money 43,000 it means we could probably go and buy ourselves a corn header for the harvester and then if we did want to do some flowers or corn or anything along them lines we can do now so that's pretty good going there we go right so I'll head back to the farm I'll park up the trailer and then I'll get hooked up probably in the 140 because I think it'll do a good job of just spreading some lime um, and then we'll try and sort out both the grass fields Right, so let's get hooked up and start spreading some lime. The 140 should do an easy job of this, really. It's not that big a spreader. Uh, but it is big enough that it won't take too long, anyway. There we go. That should do. Now we'll need the front loader attachment on the 390T, not the 490T, I've remembered this time. So let's jump over to that and we'll get hooked up on that as well. Um, definitely a lot easier using a steering wheel, it really is. I'm hoping it's not picking up too much sound. It is quite difficult not to obviously pick up some of the sound um, because of the fact that it is a moving wheel. And it obviously is next to me in the, in the microphone. Uh, but hopefully it's not too bad. I am trying to keep it on the minimum. Now I am using the controller for this just because of the fact I've got a front loader arm. So we need just the one bag of lime. I'll probably keep it suspended because I imagine that it's going to get through this quite quick. I just hope that with the four bags that I've got, it's enough. I imagine it is, but... There we go. It's a little bit unsteady, it really is. So what I'll do is I'll actually just drive the tractor underneath it, even though this is a really unsafe thing to do. I mean, you wouldn't want to do this in real life because, yeah, if that drops on your edge, you're going to know about it, and there is no there is no cab to protect me.
So that's half a ton in this. And then as you can see, still quite a bit left in the bag. So let's go and crack on with this. I am going to be using again the steering wheel for this because I think it's just a perfect job for it. Uh, but I might get into third person. I mean, yeah, it's not too heavy on the front. I was thinking, I mean, on the back, thinking I might get a bit of a an effect where it's, you know, going to tip back and do a bit of a wheelie, but it, it looks all right. It really does. Right, so. Let's start off from about here. Um, and it should, fingers crossed, be a good span, because I remember it was like 18 meters. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this is going to make easy work of it. It really is. But the only problem we've got is it's using so much of it. I'm already at 46%. This is mental. So even just to do the one field is going to take a long time because of the amount of times we're going to have to keep refilling. So it might be a good idea to bring the bag over to the field. So let's go and... <laughs> Let's go jump into the 390T, bring the bag over here. Because that was half a ton. That's insane. I am hoping that uh, we've got quite a bit left, to be honest. We should be able to drive like this. Uh, I might need to get some more lime anyway. That's the one thing I've definitely learned from that. We we'll definitely need to get more lime. There we go. So I can't remember if there's a ton in a bag or two ton. But we'll find out from this. So there's definitely more than a ton in a bag. But look how much I actually did. This, uh, this field is in dire need of lime and it's completely drinking it. There we go. It doesn't actually look like it's going down as much on this soil type, so it's only on, I guess it's the loam. When it's on the loam, it really does take quite a bit of uh, lime, but now that we're on this section of the soil, which I will have a quick look after it's emptied, we'll just have a look which type. I remember it was... Um, Loamy, I think it's loamy sand and loam. Now I'm going to switch over now to the other other type, and as you can see, it's now dropping a lot quicker. So it does make a difference. It really does. So let's just go back under the bag, and hopefully we'll have enough to fill up again. I don't know if we will, because the bag looks quite depleted. But if we do, then. You know we've got three loads per per big bag. Just just shy of three loads. So let's just actually have a look at the soil type. We can get a good idea of this. So I haven't done much at all. Luckily it's not a big field. So it is the sandy loam that's pretty good, but the loam definitely requires a lot more uh, a lot more lime to adjust the pH. So it's obviously got closer pH to neutral. And I think we're bringing it to around 7, whereas this one's gone to 6.5 and starts off at 6.25. So it really doesn't need much movement, whereas we're moving this one to 7 from 6. So it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. So let's just empty this off. We'll go get another big bag and we'll bring it to the field. Um, and at least if I can get this field done, in this episode and then I might have to do the other one in between episodes and go by a shed more more lime it would be nice to have some kind of auger with lime in that would make things a lot easier it really would but at least the um, 140s uh, having no problem with doing this field We're already at 20%. We're doing a corner. 
So one big bag, pretty much did, just shy of one headland pass. <laughs> this is going to be a big job. So let's go and get another big bag and then we'll, we'll get this field done. Uh, it makes me think I should have kept him on, on a trailer. But it's not too much of a distance, is it? Let's be honest. It's only just over here. Um, it's going to make a difference as well when we do come to... ...using the grass silage to either sell or obviously for feed. So it is worth it, really. I know one thing though, this weight on the back is not strong enough for what I need it to do. So it might be a good idea to get a more heavier weight for the 390T. So I am confident that the four bags will do this field at least. Um, and then I might actually look, because we have got a bit of money now, we could look at another solution to hold in more line. Because with the two arable fields, that's where I think it's going to be a little bit more tricky. And if we're going to have a problem, it's going to be there. So let's just go down here like that. I can get a good idea of how how much lime I'm going to need. We'll definitely do it with the four bags. Uh, but yeah, I might actually look at getting some kind of auger for the the other three fields. Or we could even try and lease out a bigger spreader just for lime. This will be perfect for fertilizer because the solid fertilizer doesn't doesn't get consumed anywhere near as quick as lime does. But we have got a lot of liquid fertilizer as well, so we'll have no issue with fertilizer, it's just lime. Right, so what I'll do now, just a quick time lapse, me finishing off this field, um, and then I'll cut back in when it's all done. And I'll have a look and see if there's anything that I've got installed on this map to hold lime and maybe use it as an auger.
Right, so there we go. I mean, it took a hell of a lot of lime. We've used three bags, so there's only one left. Um, we have got a little bit left in here, but we've pretty much tackled the smaller field out of the three, so uh, we're definitely going to need another solution to hold in lime. I don't mind, obviously, paying for the lime itself. That's not the problem. It's just, can we find a more efficient way of uh, loading it into this? I don't mind as well using this and then just keep going back. Um, as long as it's at the field. So let's have a quick look at some options um, regarding auger. Now I know there's a mod called auger to lime uh, or lime to auger. Um, it's one of them um, and I have got that so you can do a bit of lime now. So I'm just trying to think what would be the best option. I mean I don't want something too big because we are, we are technically still using some small equipment. So I might need to have a look at this and see what mods are out there because it, it doesn't look like I've got anything in particular but there'll be something that we can use that can hold probably maybe four big bags at a time of lime and then we can just take it in one go and I think that'll speed things up it's not going to be an easy job we are using small equipment and I, I want to keep true to that so it isn't going to be an easy job but we could make it a little bit more streamlined more efficient than what we're currently doing uh, but I think for this episode we have done well we've made a bit of money we've sold some of the grain uh, that's already sitting in the silo, which is always a bonus, and I always forget about it. The only time I ever sell it is when I've put some of the grain in it from harvest, and then I end up selling uh, what was left. So yeah, we've got quite a bit in here, um, which again is all good money and um, will help us along the way. But I am going to leave the video there, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one from Farming Simulator.